Earlier this year, I uploaded a couple of videos regarding 19 John and Jane Doe cases that I believed would be solved for the DNA Doe project in 2021. Case number 8 was Marion County John Doe, a man who was found murdered in Ohio in 1989 whose homicide remains unsolved to this day. A couple of weeks ago, it was revealed that the DNA Doe project had identified Marion County John Doe as John C. Krasinski, who was 33 years old at the time of his death. Born on the 22nd of September, 1955, Krasinski had previously been a resident of Galleon, Ohio, and went to visit his father there one day in July 1989. Upon leaving his father's house, he was never seen again, and his family remained unaware of what had happened to him for over 30 years. Unbeknownst to them, the body of a man had been found in a creek later that month, just 15 or so miles southwest of Galleon. Krasinski was known to have suffered from mental illness in the past, and had gone missing before only to get back in touch with his family months later, so they assumed that the same was true with this disappearance, with no one making the connection between the missing man and the body in the creek. Meanwhile, investigators nicknamed the unidentified man Luther, as they set out to try and identify the remains. But as the decades passed, Luther remained nameless, leading detectives to turn to the DNA Doe project in 2019, in an attempt to finally identify the mystery man. After the DNA Doe project started working on the case, they quickly noticed that the man had a substantial amount of Eastern European ancestry, which proved to be a vital clue in solving the case. This lead allowed them to narrow in John Krasinski's family, before leading them to the man himself who, despite having never been formally reported missing, seemed to disappear from public records after 1989. 32 years after John's disappearance, his family finally know what happened to their loved one. This would not have been possible without people uploading their DNA to GEDmatch and Family Tree DNA, as without John's relatives uploading their DNA to these databases, he would almost definitely have remained a doe. So if you've taken a DNA test, then please consider uploading your DNA data to GEDmatch and Family Tree DNA, and opt into law enforcement matching. There are links in the description which will walk you through the process of doing this, and if you have any more questions, then feel free to ask them in the comments and I'll answer them as well as I can. If you want to find out more about the other John and Jane Doe's I believe will be identified this year, there are links in the description for those videos too, and if you found this video interesting, then feel free to like, subscribe, and watch this space.